Many of you ask me on how to build a hamburger menu in this video and I'm not going to cook but I'm going to show you how to do it in React. I found this amazing library called Hamburger React. It is actually a library that provides some icons with some very cool effects in here and that's what I'm going to use to build this hamburger menu that we're gonna have. Okay, the first step is to install Hamburger React. So I'm going to just to type in enter here and I'm going to have the variable available. So here, there we go. And there we go. So exactly like we did with the dark mode, I'm going to create a new file. And this new file is going to be called hamburger.gsx. Okay, just going to initiate it easily. And I'm going to come back to my header here and I got a justify end that I'm going to change. And instead, I'm going to import hamburger. Okay, hamburger, there we go. Hamburger from hamburger, of course. And when I save here, we can see that I got my hamburger at the opposite of the dark mode that we got here. Okay, what I propose you to do now is to write this nice hamburger menu that we are going to use. Previously, I created a config.json file where I store all my uh, local data that is available everywhere after. And I got some elements. What I'm going to add here is some links that I'm going to use inside my burger menu, okay? So I got three links, which are links to my videos. So it will be very useful for me when I want to uh, actually inject some links inside this burger menu, you can inject the, the, the links that you want. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is to use state from React. And by using user state, I want to initiate a new variable, okay, here, that is going to be is open or a set is open, okay? Uh, it's a bit dumb, I'm going, just going to use open and set open, it will be better, okay? So here we are not in TypeScript, it's going just to be a Boolean and we will be on false, very good. Now what I can use is my burger component that I just imported from the library, installed from the library. And I can go down here and use the hamburger and let's see if it works uh, perfectly inside my application. So here we can see that I got a mismatch. I'm going to call it hamburger component. I'm going to save. And there we go. So we can see that we've got a little component just up here that is making a very nice effect. Okay. So we are good with that. We've got our hamburger that is up here. What I want to use actually is basically the variable that are available from uh, the library. So you got to know that here with hamburger, we've got the size that is available and we've got also two uh, props toggle and toggle. Toggle is the action, toggle is the state. So here I can use open inside, instead of um, is open. And there we go. So here I got um, an icon that is probably a little, too little, and there we go. So when we click, we can see that we switch between a cross and between the menu, which is basically if it's open or not. There we go. So what I wanna do is to display a, a menu if it's open or not, okay? So here I can have here a menu and I'm going just to save that. And I got the menu here. So we can see that when it's open, I display a menu or not. In this course, I'm not going to make a, or a, a horizontal menu. I wanna do a vertical full screen. So here it's a bit of styling. But what I want to add, basically, it's a class that will actually take all the space. So I'm going to use fixed and absolute with a top zero, left zero, width screen, edge screen in order to take all the screen. And I want it, of course, to be absolute on all the page. So here I got the menu. And if I click, suddenly the whole website uh, disappears. I can't scroll anything. I got the menu. The problem here is that I need the cross to appear. So here is the trick. We've got access to this component, which is our hamburger menu here, which is up here. I can just copy paste this one and put it inside my div. So suddenly we see the cross appearing and we see the cross here disappearing. So we've got our menu that is taking all the size, all the width. We just hear um, the, the element that we want. Okay, depending on if you want uh, here, a menu that is on the center, on the top, on the left, on, on the right, 
you can of course wrap this hamburger inside a header and just move here your um, actually your component flex item center justify center for instance and have it on the middle okay or justify end for instance to get it on end okay so once you get this you can fulfill your whole hamburger menu so it's really easy here what i'm going to do here is to have a main um, um a main tag here a main um section okay here i'm going to close it and inside this main section i want it to be centered so here i'm going to type this is a centered menu and i'm going to save and we can see that suddenly we've got our center menu the problem is that here i'm scrolling why because here i want to have a, a, a full height screen menu that is up here so what i can do here is to add fixed to my header and suddenly we can see that this is centered and I still have the cross that is fixed up here. So if I want it to be actually totally on the uh, on, on the end, I can do that. We can see that we got some padding issue here. It's related to the padding that we got up here. So if I remove that, suddenly we've got our element which is here and it's working perfectly fine. Okay, on my case, what I want to do is just to let here the cross at the same place so I can have something like this. We could work on just having on top of each other the two hamburgers for just a question of style. It can happen. It's just here I got this screen on uh, on a tight space so I'm doing that. Okay and now I would like to have some kind of list component so I can create here a list component and this list component it's a really simple component it will just receive actually here a list of elements and we would display this list of elements through a map, okay? We would map and display this list of elements. So now I can just import list here from slash component slash list, okay, there we go. And now I need to import the data that I want from the config file. So I need my config file and my config file here is on the top here, I want to import my links coming from the config file here. There we go. And then now that I get my list, I can inject my list just down here. So if I save, there we go. We've got our element appearing here. So it's a little bit little on the font, but uh, here, this is what I would like to have. So if I put it full screen, this is the experience that we've got. We are here on the uh, application and I got here a container that contains basically my whole page and I got this hamburger icon and when I click on it, there we go, we've got everything. So if I turn it to uh, dark here, it's also working. Remember in the previous course, we've been working on that. So we've got an hamburger menu that is working fine. What we need to do later, if we want it to be fixed, we need to fix this uh, header with this hamburger menu that we got here on the top. And I got my elements, my uh, elements that are leading me to my YouTube videos coming from the config file. So as you can see, creating an hamburger menu, it's pretty easy. Um, we just have one file and this one file is carrying the whole logic exactly like the dark mode file.